Uh, good morning. I just want to tell you a little bit uh, about the North Bay Climate Adaptation Initiative, which is uh, about a year and a half old effort to respond to the fact that our climate is changing. So there are uh, two main kinds of responses to the fact that the climate is changing. One is to uh, try to reduce the causes of climate change and this whole strategy comes under the unfortunately very long uh, name of mitigation. It basically means reducing the human production of uh, greenhouse gases. Forgive me if this is old hat for most of you, but I think it's not a bad thing to go over it every so often. Uh, so for practical purposes, really this means reducing the amount of fossil fuels that we burn. Um, so we're all familiar with a lot of these uh, messages that have been coming out and that we ourselves have been promoting recently to reduce fuel, fossil fuel use, um, to, for example, reduce the number of um, vehicle miles that we use, to carpool, to use transit, to buy fuel efficient cars, uh, to modify existing buildings and build new buildings that are more energy efficient. Um, and in California, a big way to reduce greenhouse gas emissions is also to conserve water because a phenomenal amount of fossil fuel is used to pump and treat and move and heat and retreat water. So Sonoma County has been really on the cutting edge of um, mitigating climate change and setting very admirable goals for cutting our emissions of greenhouse gases and we've gotten a lot of kudos for that. Um, but I would say that Sonoma County is, is like most places around the world, we haven't actually accomplished anything remotely like what we would need to accomplish to actually stop the climate from changing further. Um, and even if we planet-wide were successful at doing that, say tomorrow we suddenly were able to stop burning fossil fuels, there's still a lot of climate change that we need to just live with because there's a long lag between what we do here on the planet's surface and what the climate does, something like a 50 year lag. So that necessitates the whole other second response to climate change, which is just coping with it, living with it. Um, no. So how do we survive climate change? How do we thrive under climate change? And this whole set of questions comes under the other four syllable word, adaptation. Which you can just think of as responding to climate change. It's here, it's real, it's gonna be increasing. What do we do about it? Uh, so we're trying, we need to reduce the vulnerability of our systems, our way of life, to a changing climate. Another way to think about this is that we need to make our human and natural systems more resilient to climate change, so they can do what they need to do even as the climate is changing. Um, when you start thinking about climate adaptation, you suddenly are in a very broad territory that has to do with biology, ecology, atmospheric science, um, geology, hydrology, some of which we heard about from Lori Flint, because the weather drives uh, everything that happens here on the surface of planet Earth. Um, so. These two strategies work together. There are a few things that, a um, few activities that kind of accomplish both at the same time. Um, with adaptation, you're really thinking about what's called ecosystem services. What does the planet provide for people? Um, how are those services gonna be affected by a changing climate? And how can we help to make those uh, services continue to be provided even as the climate changes? So things like, uh, you know, little things like food, little things like water. Um, pests, uh, both insect pests and, and um, viral pests, bacterial pests, and um, beneficial insects, things that pollinate all of our food, for example. So these are um, obviously essential benefits that we derive from the natural world, and they're all affected by the climate. Um, a lot of people are thinking about these sorts of things at a federal level. Uh, there's a relatively new um, effort called the Landscape conservation cooperatives, these are regional, um, are across the country being sort of led by the Fish and Wildlife Service. At the state level, um, uh, the state's thinking a few years ago was sort of crystallized in this very nice document called the State Adaptation Strategy. And climate adaptation is sort of percolating uh, at various speeds into the thinking of um, policymakers and decision makers um, around the state. 
at the region level, um, one of the organizations, they're kind of popping up a lot actually, thinking about adaptation um, efforts. Uh, this one has a very appropriate name that's short, shortened to BAKE, and we're working with them. And at the local or sub-regional level, there's the North Bay Climate Adaptation Initiative. And we started in Sonoma County um, at the same conference that uh, Lori mentioned, the 2009 Laguna Conference. Um, where we had a kind of collective aha moment that uh, adaptation was a critical issue that, and there wasn't really a lot of attention being put on it at, at that time, a year and a half ago. Um, so at the Laguna Conference, in the room pretty much was pr almost the entire uh, community of Sonoma County that deals with um, ecological restoration, land conservation, and natural resources protection. And we all got very excited about the, the possibility of getting together and working as a, as a collective kind of on this topic. And as you can see from the slide, um, NBKI has uh, put sort of under its umbrella um, pretty much everybody who's working on this in Sonoma County and um, we're building partnerships right now across the North Bay. And I wanna particularly um, thank from up here uh, Community Foundation Sonoma County, which has uh, recognized the energy that's in NBKI and has been supporting our fledgling little uh, collaborative um, with some funding. And now Dave's gonna tell you about what we are actually doing. So um, you, oh, that slide illustrates a lot of our community partners that we're working with, and I should just mention a few of them by name, Sonoma Ecology Center, Pepperwood, Sonoma Land Trust, um, in the, uh, in the group, Sodium Omi RCD, in the group of um, fellow nonprofits, and then there's governmental agencies, Sonoma County Water Agency, USGS, um, and uh, Sonoma County Egg Preservation and Open Space District, to name a few, California Coastal Conservancy, uh, uh, coming in from the state level to participate with that group. So we're grateful to all of our partners, and it sort of illustrates uh, how important all of us think that this is. So the North Bay Climate Adaptation Initiative came together uh, two years ago, nearly, in the fall of 2009, with the goal of fostering an open conversation between uh, the, all of those technical experts in land managers and policy makers from all of those groups I just mentioned to support effective local scale climate adaptation strategies. Um, and our vision is that the North Bay will have a resilient, biologically diverse natural system to provide lasting ecosystem services and functions. I should note that we call ourselves the North Bay Climate Adaptation Initiative. We're a young group. We talked at length about the fact that we were all from, from Sonoma County, or at least what scale we wanted to operate at, and determined that we would uh, start with Sonoma County and then move on um, as, uh, we, as we sort of solidified our processes um, and hopefully will attract uh, Marin County and uh, even uh, Solano. So um, one of the, um, we, ha we came together with three different working groups. Those working groups are our stewardship group, our tech group, and our uh, po public policy group. Um, in the um, stewardship group, we wanted to, some of the, kind of, these are kind of projects that each one of those working groups is working on. Um, looking at different uh, ways that we can create climate resilient landscapes in our stewardship group. What does it mean to really um, be doing land conservation in the face of global climate change? How can we adapt what we're doing um, in terms of the kinds of vegetation plantings and other things that we're doing to be ready for the climate change that we know is coming. Our tech group is working on a long-term monitoring plan that takes the vital signs of Sonoma County to help understand what's going on out there, similarly to the work that the Flints are doing and, and in collaboration with them. And our public policy group is going to be going out and uh, trying to get in front of all of the local city councils, board of supervisors, RCPA, et cetera, to talk to those groups about um, getting adaptation on their radar so that they can start uh, incorporating it in all of their planning documents. 
It's important to note that the North Bay Climate Adaptation Initiative is focused on um, a part of all of the adaptation that needs to be considered as we look at global climate change. In 2009, the state published a uh, climate change adaptation strategy, um, and it identified these seven sectors as things that need to be looked at. Our group is more focused on the biodiversity and habitat and water management issues, but all the rest of these also are important. We heard a little bit about how agriculture will be impacted from the Flint presentation. Um, you could apply that same, uh, we also, they also looked at redwoods, for example. So forestry, another one that you saw today that will be impacted by adaptation or by climate change and need to be uh, adapting. The rest of these are very important as well and we hope that um, by taking a look at this now and being prepared for what's coming that we can better um, manage our local systems.